hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to learn about single sign on implementation on salesforce so in this video we are going to cover the few topics uh, in single sign on that is like consumer provider domain federation id and how to enable the saml so uh, why we need single sign on is like if we have a single credential repository uh, to log in multiple environment or multiple uh, domain we can use single sign on so in this uh, practical session what we are going to do we are going to log into salesforce environment using third party application so salesforce will be the our consumer and provider will be the axiom so here you can see i have mentioned who is going to be the provider is like axiom so we'll be using some third party application here and uh, definitely we'll use the custom domain so i'll just uh, explain you what is custom domain and all then we are going to use federation id and at last we have to enable the saml yeah so these are the basic concept when we use the single sign on so i'll start the video with the demo session how we are going to configure this so first what you have to do is you have to log in with this url yeah so i'll provide you this url in the description you can find that yeah, so just copy this and paste this url here and what you have to do next here is hope you guys are following me so what you have to do next is click on the saml identity provider and tester so this is like third party saml provider or you can say single sign on provider and this is very much specific to our testing scenario that's the reason i'm using this also if you are very much keen on any like uh, microsoft azure Dev devops or any other third party provider you can use that but for this tutorial this is the best and uh, suitable uh, third party application where we can use the single sign on and have the integration with salesforce so please use this this is very good for beginners yeah so click on this saml identity provider and tester and the next step uh, here you can see the detail but uh, just follow my step what i'm gonna do here is i'll just download this link what it is providing here so just click here so once it is download just go to the path yeah here you can see it's a downloaded now so what i'll do i'll go to here you can see what what would be the next step so it is saying we have to go to the salesforce and enable the single sign on so the next step is just log into your salesforce environment so already i have logged into my salesforce environment yeah and make sure your salesforce day box is uh, like having the custom domain enable here you can see i have already enabled that so make sure you have already done it so after that go to the quick uh, find uh, there you just type in single you will get this option here just click it yeah and here you can see that already i have enabled this sample enabled yeah so once you enable that you will get the option to either create new or new from the metadata file or new from metadata url so in this example what we are going to do is we'll use the new option so click on the new so here what you have to provide so whatever the rate is there you have to provide all those information so follow uh, my instruction what you have to provide here is so you can say a uh, demo sso yeah and the issuer you have to give the axiom sso heroku app the same url whatever i have provided here so you can see here the same url you have to just copy and give here yeah so is so this is our third party issuer email I, not email id i mean url we have to give and what should be the entity id so entity id should be our salesforce url so copy this particular yeah and paste it 
yeah so uh, one more thing uh, we should not have the lightning.com uh, we have to get the another form of this so i'll just tell you how to replace that so for now you can keep this later we'll update now if you see here next option is identity provider certificate so whatever you have downloaded the file that i'm going to use hope you are following my step yeah if not please uh, i mean go back to the that step and follow the same so this is the one which i have downloaded the file i'm going to upload the same here yeah and uh, this option should be the same this is also same this is also same here we have the couple of option what kind of assertion we have to use so as i said i will use the federation id so assertion contains the federation id from the user of set so that i'll tell you how to set that so i'm you going to use the federation id however you have the option to use salesforce username as well as user id yeah and this should be our redirect because we want to log into our salesforce environment and this should be the same keep it all uh, identity provider login url yeah so for now you can keep it same and just save this yeah so this should be the setting yeah and uh, if you see uh, we got this login url uh, this is going to be useful i'll tell you where but for now as i said we have to replace this lightning.force.com url so just replace this and save okay different value okay so i guess already i have used this so that's the reason okay so what i'll do i'll just go back to my existing one and i'll just explain you there how i have used okay so i'll just click on edit yeah one more thing i just forgot here so this url uh, will be using I i'll tell you when we are going to update this url so this should be our step just you log in i think uh, i mean entity id should be replaced with the same as i explain you this one yeah this part should be replaced so both are same so this combination should always your name should be always done yeah so this is i think we are done from the salesforce side now what next you have to do here is go to the user object of yours only because uh, you have the login credential with you so at present i am in my user credential so i just click on edit and i just went down and given the federation id as 1 2 3 4 and 5 and save this so after this what you have to do you have to go back to axiom url where you have downloaded the file yeah next what you have to do you have to go to this option generate a sample response so click here so once you click here you can see couple of option available so follow my step what i'm going to do here is just use the sample version as 2.0 yeah then the federation id as i have given for my user is 1 2 3 4 5 i'll give the same here then issuer if you remember here what i have given is this url so we have to just copy this yeah and the uh, recipient so recipient you can also see from here this login url you have to give yeah and this entity id as i said we have given here i'll just copy the same yeah and if you see 
this SSO start page. So this URL, what you have to do, just copy this and come back here, click on edit and this URL, you have to just replace and save it. So this would be your next step. So once you are done with this, then simply go to the request SAML response and test this login credential whether this is working or not so what i'll do next i'll click on the login button here so it's loading i believe this is gonna redirect me to my salesforce org so how yeah so this is how it works yeah so hope uh, you are completed your single sign-on implementation in salesforce successfully yeah